right, guys. <clears throat> good morning. Hopefully, you guys are doing good. Haven't talked to you in a few days, but it was good seeing a lot of you during Bible study. Uh, we had a really good Bible study. Hopefully, if you didn't get a chance to participate, you'll watch it after watching this video. Um, we studied, because uh, since last week was Holy Week, and we all the way up to the resurrection. Just thought it'd be good to study what happened after the resurrection because when he resurrected, he still stayed here for some weeks. Many people saw him. And we just talked about that. You know, I didn't uh, do a devotional for Monday or Tuesday night because... Uh, you know, it was a very busy Holy Week. I mean, very rewarding. It was beautiful. But uh, Sharon and I really needed that. That, Still. huh? Exhausted. Yeah, exhausted. Still exhausted. Yeah, right now we're, it's Wednesday night. We're heading home. It's eleven thirty, and. Um, there was no way I could get home and then do a devotional. So I thought I would just do this as I'm driving home and uh, just talk to you guys, you know, and just pray that you guys had a really good resurrection day, you know, and just uh, dive into the word, you know. <clears throat> I know I keep pushing it, but I'll say it again that, you know, if you don't have time to read or don't like reading really seriously get audible there's so many good books especially good classics things that will build you up you know um, you know this world is there's so many things that, that so many things are happening all around the world that we truly have to <clears throat> you know be be grounded um I don't necessarily agree when people say, "Oh, you gotta, you gotta wake up the church, you gotta wake up the church," you know, to know what's really going on in the government. What does it matter? You or I can't change it. But when I say that the times, it's because you need to be built up because, you know, there is an antichrist spirit, and if you are not rooted in Christ, you will get uprooted very easily. And that's why, when I say to know what's going on in the world, it's not so you can have an expertise on the current events. It's so you can be built strong. You know, and that way you can um, persevere. Persevere and, and continue forward in the things of the Lord and know how to maneuver you know, your Christian walk, not only yours, but your family. You know, if I'm talking to the man, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm saying for you to lead that house, you know, and, and teach your children, teach your wives and wives, teach your children. And, you know, because um, there's one thing that today, you know, the Bible study is dwindled down to this, is that all the stuff he went through coming in on, on Palm Sunday and then, you know, having the Last Supper, and then being arrested, and then crucified, and then buried, and then resurrected. This is what it comes down to, is now that he did all that, what are you going to do? Because the Great Commission is for every believer. Every believer. The Great Commission is yours to go and do what? To make disciples of all the nations. Make disciples of those in your household you know those in your circle of influence we have a job to do even though the Lord resurrected his work was done but our work begins 